Here's our second example involving the potential energy of point charges. A small sphere carrying an unknown charge Q1 is held fixed in place. A second small sphere of mass 1 mg carrying a charge Q2 of 5 microcoulombs is projected towards Q1. When Q2 is 1 meter from Q1, its kinetic energy is half a joule. When Q2 is half a meter from Q1, its kinetic energy is a quarter of a joule. Does Q2 stop and turn around, or does it hit Q1? First step, as always, draw a picture. So we'll draw Q2 at point B, going towards Q1, and we'll write down the charges. So Q2 is 5 microcoulomb, and its mass, being 1 milligram, is 10 to the negative 6 kilos. The goal of the problem is to figure out whether Q2 stops and turns around or whether it hits Q1. We don't really have a lot of information about when Q2 stops and turns around because we don't know where that would happen and we don't know the charge of Q1. We do have a lot of information from A to B, so we're going to try to set up a conservation of energy equation from A to B and see where that leads us. So conservation of energy, initial potential energy, plus initial kinetic energy, plus work done by non-conservative or external forces, is equal to final potential energy, plus final kinetic energy. And from A to B, we know almost everything in this equation. The potential energy of two charges is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, Q1, Q2 over Rb at point B and the potential energy at point A is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 over Ra. Q1 is fixed, so the total kinetic energy of the system is always just the kinetic energy of Q2. 0 0.5 joules at point B, 0 0.25 joules at point A. The only unknown is Q1, so let's try to solve for it. We're going to put all the fully known quantities on the right hand side, everything involving Q1 on the left hand side, and then we're going to try to factor it. So 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by known Q2 multiplied by known parentheses 1 over Rb minus 1 over Ra. These are all things that we know. Our only unknown is Q1, and then the whole thing should be equal to negative 0.25. So we plug all the numbers in and we find minus 45,000 Q1 should be equal to minus 0.25. So Q1 is 5.56, 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, so 5.56 microcoulombs. The sign of the charge makes sense because we know that Q2 slowed down as it approached Q1. Well now that we know Q1, Perhaps we can figure out whether Q2 turns around or whether Q2 smashes into it. So this time we're going to apply conservation of energy from point A to the point where Q2 would eventually stop and turn around. The initial potential energy is the potential energy of the pair Q1, Q2 when they are a distance A apart. The initial kinetic energy is the kinetic energy of Q2 when it's a distance A away from Q1. There is no work done by non-conservative forces because there's no friction, there's no external forces doing work here. The final potential energy is the final potential energy of the pair Q1 and Q2 when they're a distance R apart. And of course, if Q2 has stopped, that means that the final kinetic energy is zero. And here, we know all the numbers except the distance r between q1 and q2 when q2 has stopped. So let's just plug everything in and solve for r. 0 0.7504 is equal to 0 0.2502 over r, meaning that r is 0 0.333 meters, or 33.3 centimeters. Now, if r had turned out to be a negative number, then we would have known that q2 does smash into q1. But this time we do have an answer. q2 stops and turns around 33.3 centimeters from q1. All done. Spread the joy of physics.